a tank with a capacity of 500 gallon originally contains 200 gallon of water with 100 pound of salt in solution okay water containing one pound of per gallon one pound per gallon is entering at a rate of three gallon per minute and the mixer the oil stirred mixer is allowed to leave flow out of the tank at the rate of two gallon per minute find the amount of salt in the tank at any time prior to the instant when the solution begins to overflow so the getting in at the rate of three gallon per minute getting out at the rate of two gallon per minute so per minute uh, the volume of the water is uh, increasing by one gallon okay uh, as usual we always let qt be the amount of the salt in the tank at any time t then the initial amount of salt then q0 that's the initial amount of salt is given 100 pound in the question so 100 and this process is modeled by the following differential equations the rate of change of the salt content dq over dt is equal to rate in minus rate out rate in means we multiply this flow rate in times the concentration so one times three so pretty much three minus rate out this is the flow rate out times the concentration so two times we need the concentration so in this case the concentration will be concentration is always amount of salt at any time t divided by the volume of the water so amount of salt at any time t is q so q divided by q t or just q volume look originally 200 and the water is increasing by one gallon because three gallon minus two gallon means one gallon so 200 plus one gallon per minute so one t so q we can drop this t part q over 200 plus one t is the concentration of this salt solution exiting the tank so we multiply that with this two flow rate out so two times this q over 200 plus one t or just t qt we just drop t okay q is a function of t now let's bring this to the left side so dq over dt this negative means positive in the left hand side 2 over 200 plus t is equal to 3 now okay i forgot this q so here's q so this is a linear equation ordinary differential equation in q with respect to time t okay to solve this differential equation we find the integrating factor integrating factor mu as a function of t is given by e raised to antiderivative of this coefficient which is 2 over 200 plus t t dt okay let's integrate this e raised to the bottom the derivative of bottom is 0 plus 1 just 1 so if we pull 2 outside then we have 1 left 2 times 1 is 2 the top is the derivative of bottom okay like this when you have the top u this derivative on the top then just natural log of u absolute u so in this case 2 outside then 1 over 200 plus t 1 is the derivative of bottom so natural log of 200 plus t i don't need parenthesis because time is positive so everything is positive here and we know by the by one law factor property of natural log this two goes here then e and natural log side by side their actions cancel so this is just 200 plus t quantity square okay this is the integrating factor with this we uh, what we do here is we multiply this differential equation by this integrating factor okay then the left hand side automatically becomes derivative of 
dependent variable q times the integrating factor which is 200 plus t quantity square is equal to multiply right hand side by the integrating factor as well so 200 plus t quantity square okay basically we multiply both sides by this integrating factor and left hand side becomes automatically this now we integrate both sides with respect to t then this survives q times 200 plus t quantity square is equal to antiderivative of this three is constant we can pull outside so antiderivative of 200 plus t square is 200 it's like power rule 200 plus t raised to 3 2 plus 1 3 divided by 3 times because we have some coefficient of t is 1 3 times 1 if there is 2 we have to divide by 2 in this case it's nothing just 1 plus constant c then we divide by this integrating factor just to isolate q so q is the amount of salt at any time t q t now we can write that equals divide these two terms by 200 plus t square here this 3 and 3 cancel and when we divide 3 copies by 2 copies we get just 200 plus t 1 because 3 divided by 2 plus c over this so c times 200 plus t raised to negative 2 now we determine the value of this arbitrary constant c using the initial amount of salt and the question in the question we found the initially the amount of salt is 100 okay so using q at 0 equals 100 we get q is 100 when time is 0 so we get 100 equals when time is 0 that means this is 200 plus c time is 0 so 200 raised to negative 2 okay which is 1 over 200 is square subtract 200 from both sides so 100 minus 200 is negative 100 uh, equals this is pretty much c over okay negative exponent make it positive this this implies c equals you just multiply negative 100 times 200 square uh, which is a big number okay so that's negative uh, 2 square 4 times 1 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay that's the c now back substitute the c here and we have the amount of salt any at any time t okay thus qt is 200 plus t plus c now c is negative 400 six zeros by the way that's c times uh, 200 plus t raised to negative 2 i want to put that on the bottom over 200 plus t square okay that's the amount of salt at any time t now to answer the question we need to use this amount of salt okay let's go back and see what the question asks it says find the amount of salt okay that means we need time by the way to find the amount of salt all we need is time in the tank at any time prior to the instant where the solution begins to over, overflow okay as we know the water here is rising by one gallon per minute because three gallon getting in two gallon getting out so the capacity of this the capacity of this tank is 500 so 500 200 gallon is already there so the remaining is 300 then how long does it take because one minute is one gallon three gallon minus two gallon is one gallon so per to fill this remaining 300 gallon it needs 300 minutes okay so 300 minutes so we want to find the amount of salt after 300 minutes so let's write it takes 300 minutes to overflow it takes 
300 minutes to overflow the tank so q at 300 is just replace t throughout by 300 okay so 200 plus 300 500 minus this 4 1 2 3 1 2 3 divided by uh, 200 plus 300 500 is square so 525 1 2 3 4 okay let's find this then whatever the you can four zeros cancel so 500 minus what's it 25 goes 416 times and this usual calculator done 484 pounds okay final